Hey you guys, Kendra here. Welcome to another edition of Beauty and Inspirations, where it is always our goal to inspire you from the inside out. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks so much for stopping by. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my content, consider becoming a member of the family by hitting the subscribe button. To new family members, welcome. And then to longtime family members, thanks so much for your continued support. Now, don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button as well as share the video, for, especially for those who like free fragrance content and then don't forget to comment below so that we can interact especially if you guys are feeling the fragrance that I'm going to be talking about I need you to interact below let's talk about it let's share our thoughts about it good or bad indifferent or not let's share our thoughts about it in the comment section below and then don't forget to hit me up on my other social media sites I'm on Instagram I have reactivated my Facebook page you guys and it's simply my name Kendra M Silver and I'll leave that below if I can remember and then I'm also on snapchat so let's get into this video which is going to be all about my experience with a new fragrance that I recently hauled unboxed and I uh, gave you a first impression of recently maybe a few weeks ago and it is from the house of Swiss Arabian and it is Anara Oud this is the box right here and I will be so delighted to tell you how I feel about this fragrance and whether I think this is something you should take a look at or check out. And so if you're interested in knowing how I feel about Swiss Arabian's Anara Oud, then keep on watching. Swiss Arabian's Anara Oud is a fragrance that hasn't gotten a lot of buzz the way some of their other fragrances have gotten like Shagaf Oud, which is a dupe for uh, Lancome's Oud Bouquet, and then Casablanca and Flores. Florence, there are so many other fragrances that Swiss Arabian offers. And I happened to uh, check out Swiss Arabian's website because I was interested in Shagaf Oud. As a matter of fact, I thought Shagaf Oud was gonna be my first Swiss Arabian fragrance, but I stumbled upon this fragrance right here, which is Inara Oud. And I kind of fell in love with the bottle of course, it was an oud fragrance, so I fell in love with the fact that it was an oud fragrance. And if you guys have watched my videos, the recent ones, you know that lately I have been all about the oud. So I was intrigued by the bottle, intrigued by the name, and then I began to look up the notes and I absolutely loved what I saw in the notes. What I saw in the notes is something very familiar, but with a little bit of a spin or twist to it. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, actually, what, what really really intrigued me about this fragrance is that really when it came down to me researching whether or not other people had tried this fragrance and how they felt about it, I was coming up empty. I went to, of course, YouTube to see if there were any video reviews or unboxings or first impressions about this fragrance and I found none. The only videos I found were when Swiss Arabian put videos up really just basically advertising this fragrance within itself. And then the same thing when I went to Instagram. There was nothing. There weren't any posts about this fragrance other than Swiss Arabian posting this to advertise it. And at the time when I first saw this fragrance on the Swiss Arabian's website, there were no customer reviews even on the Swiss Arabian website about this fragrance. So I was like, what's going on with this fragrance? Is it not good? Are people just not talking about it? Or have people not really realized that this is even an offering from Swiss Arabian? Is everyone just caught up in Casablanca, Florence, Chagaf Oud? So later on, I realized that this is one of their latest offerings. So this is a fairly new fragrance. And that's probably why it hasn't been getting a lot of buzz. However, I went ahead and purchased this on a blind buy because I wanted to get the word out there about this fragrance. Whether I liked it or not, I was intrigued by it and I felt like someone should do a review about this. So this is why I ultimately bought this fragrance. So this is a blind buy. Didn't know how it smelled. Even though I saw the notes and the notes were familiar, I definitely didn't know what I was gonna get into when I got this home and smelled it for myself. So the top notes of this fragrance is um, lychee, valerian, and saffron. The middle notes are rose, raspberry, and peach. And then the middle or the base notes, I wanna say bottom notes, I'm thinking about singing. The base notes are, um, vanilla, teak wood, and agar wood, or oud. So these notes are really familiar to me. 
Um, Shagaf Oud has pretty much the same notes. They have the notes of saffron, um, rose, and agarwood. Um, so does Swiss Arabian. And then I was intrigued because of the peach and raspberry note, notes. And I was really intrigued about how all of those notes were gonna work together. And then with the vanilla, like how was this gonna play out? It sounded good, but was it going to smell good? That is the question. So I got it home. I smelled it and you guys this is good so first of all it does smell like Shagaf Oud first off so you're gonna think this is Shagaf Oud or this is you know Oud Bouquet so it smells just like that and well it's so since they have the similar notes of the saffron the rose the um teak wood the agar wood I'm sorry or the Oud but then once you put this on your skin you're gonna get something like even more great about it because a scent like Chagaf Oud and um, Lancome's Oud Bouquet is gonna be a scent that you're gonna wear pretty much in the cooler months. It's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be, um, some people might even say it's too much, it's cloying, but this fragrance with the peach and the raspberry is taking it to another level and it's giving me my whole summer and my whole spring and summer life. You guys, because I was getting a little bit sad that I wasn't gonna be able, and thinking that I wasn't gonna be able to bring one of my favorite notes of oud into the warmer months of spring and summer, but this right here has been the answer to my prayers. And, it says on the website, the, um, the description of this fragrance that Inara Oud is a fruity vanilla fragrance that complements a summer's day. So it's going to open up with your uh, vanilla, valerian and saffron, but then it's going to play out and you're going to smell that raspberry and that peach and that rose. Then it's going to mellow out and you're going to smell like your base notes of your vanilla and your oud. And it's going to work everything together too. This will be a fragrance that you definitely can wear in the warmer months. And I'm so 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 excited about that because i will now i now have a oud fragrance i can wear in the summer months and let me tell you i wore it for about a week the week that i wore it it started out a little bit cool but then as the week went in it started to get a little bit warmer like it was actually in like the 70s a couple of days last week in my neck of the woods. So I was able to kind of experience this in warmer days, in warmer weather, and it actually worked really, really well. Now, when I first sprayed it, it was beast mode. I ain't gonna tell y'all that it wasn't. It was beast mode. It was giving me all of that Shagaf Oud, um, Lancome's Oud Bouquet. It was giving me that and more, like when I first sprayed it. But after about 30 minutes to an hour, it started to mellow out and I started to get the juicy peach and the juicy raspberry appeal. And I was like, okay, I feel it. I see how it's going. I see how it's playing out. And then as it um, got down to the base notes, the vanilla and the oud working together was really, really sweet. But it wasn't sweet like syrupy, um, gagging like it wasn't like that kind of sweet like that choking sweet syrupy sappy sweet it was like really really beautiful and now i don't know what kind of vanilla this is because you guys know that there are like different kinds of vanillas but it is a sweet vanilla but it is not it's not too sweet it is not cloying it's not choke mode it actually mellows out and it goes from being beast mode to just really nice, really smooth, really beautiful, if you will. Um, this fragrance lasts a long time. Like you're gonna get all day wear out of it. And although it's not gonna project as beastly as it does in the beginning, by the time it dries down, it's still gonna be like your moderate projection and your moderate CI. So people are gonna smell you coming and going, but it's not going to like knock anyone out or it's not gonna make someone say, oh, who is that or what is that? Or, oh my God, somebody like went in with the whole bottle. It's not gonna give you that. Definitely be mindful that you don't have to spray a lot of this. Like you don't have to go all the way in. And I know some people can be a little bit trigger happy, but you don't have to do that. But at the same time, if you somehow or another, you know, slip up, get a little carried away, 
By the time it dries down, I don't think that it's going to be offensive. This fragrance is going to be the type of fragrance that I like to call an all-purpose fragrance because I believe you can wear this for any occasion, any time of the day, any day of the week. I almost want to say you can wear this any, uh, any season of the year. Um, but this fragrance is definitely going to be your boardroom, um, classroom, office, whatever your profession is, it's going to be like you're about your business with this fragrance, but it's also going to play down and become this playful uh, fragrance that will find you at the amusement park or find you at the beach or will find you, you know, going out to eat or find you at a five-star restaurant. Like it is just so multifaceted this fragrance is that I am glad I bought this on a blind buy. Like I feel like this fragrance is going to be one that really is gonna be very versatile. And uh, at the same time, you know, not be really offensive once it dries down it's not going to be really offensive it's going to just be really beautiful like i said it's going to last a long time when i was wearing this i was getting up and putting this on around about 7 45 7 50 10 minutes to 8 and then i was wearing this well into the night say um till about 11 11 30 because that's kind of when i wind down and get myself ready for bed but this fragrance will last a long time and on your clothes it lasts forever even after you wash this you're still gonna smell some remnants of this fragrance so i do believe that this is going to be a fragrance that i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this summer because it's an oud fragrance and it's a juicy fragrance and it's a sweet vanilla fragrance and it's floral and it's spicy with the saffron like it's all of that but i definitely think if you don't like oud bouquet or shagaf oud and you think it's a bit much i absolutely think that um, you would probably like this. Um, I also, in seeing the only customer review on the Swiss Arabian website, they basically summed it up what this fragrance is. They said basically it's a go-between of Chagaf Oud and Casablanca because you're gonna have the fruity notes and the fruity nuances in, uh, that you would find in Casablanca, but you're gonna get the rose, the saffron, the oud that you're gonna find in Chagaf Oud. But it works really well together in that, again, it's not gonna be too much much like Chagaf Oud can be on its own or um, Casablanca. And I've heard people layering those fragrances together because by themselves, they can be a bit much. So you guys, that is it. That is my take on, um, I was going to say Chagaf Oud. This is my take on Inara Oud from Swiss Arabian. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it, if you have already purchased it, or if you plan on purchasing it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to interact with you don't forget to hit the subscribe button the share button the like button comment also check me out on my other social media platforms and that's it you guys until the next time we see each other you keep it beautiful and i'll keep inspiring god bless